Hello and welcome back to David's Closet. Here we love to talk about handbags, accessories, and all of that fun stuff from the male point of view. Um, so if you're into that kind of thing as much as me, um, here we are. Like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. Ignore this weird spot on my shirt. I just pulled out of the dryer. <sighs> I'm a mess. So um, this video is going to be kind of fun. I've wanted to do this for a while. Um, and it's basically a video over bags I have sold and why. Because, you know, we always buy these things and every YouTuber I've ever watched, luxury, non-luxury, you know, all of them, they all sell bags. They buy them, they sell them, you know, it's a constant flow through their closet. Um, so I'd like to talk about that. But before we get started, I do want to do the bag of the week. So I'm filming this in June. Um, it's about the second full week of June. And of course, it's Pride Month, so my coach Rowan Satchel with the Pride CC print is the bag of the week. Um, I have one more Pride bag I'll swap into here probably in a couple of days, but love her. And it's a new one you haven't seen yet. So, um, I'm going to do my video um, a little bit different than I've seen some of the others. I'm going to throw pictures of the bags up here. Um, I'm going to tell you the bag, kind of go over why I sold it, and then if I can remember maybe what I bought it for and what I sold it for. Um, and that kind of leads me into this. So first off, I have not sold any of my luxury bags. Um, those bags, you know, from Fashion File, Louis Vuitton, things like that. Um, because A, I don't buy those kinds of bags at that price point unless I know I really, really want it. There's one or two that I don't use as much and I have considered selling it to Fashion File. I'm kind of hesitant to sell it on my own. Um, you know, I don't want to... I don't want to get taken advantage of online. I'm not sure I've never sold anything like that. So I'm a little hesitant, but the more contemporary brands, I am not as hesitant on selling. Uh, it's a little bit easier to sell. You know, typically, you know, people aren't as concerned with fakes. That's another thing. I don't want people thinking and claiming my stuff is fake. It's not. Um, whereas if I'm selling a coach outlet bag, the odds of that being fake are very slim. And it's the same concept for purchasing when I purchase off you know, non-authenticated websites, such, such as like Poshmark and Macari, eBay. Um, I'm not as hesitant with a Coach, Kate Spade, Tory Burch kind of bag, um, but when it comes to Louis Vuitton, Fendi, Prada, yeah. A little bit more concerned, prefer a trusted source like Fashion File. I also want to say that I do not like to buy and sell bags for profit. Um, anything I sell on my Poshmark is something I've purchased for myself that I either A, have used, you know, gotten my use out of, no longer need or want, or honestly, a lot of times things I buy, things I never reached for. So I think, well, it's too late to return it, so I should sell it. Um, so my goal when I sell items is not to make profit. My, I kind of have, you know, a, a, a mindset and I'm realistic knowing what I can get and what I can't. If it's something I bought and didn't use at all, I want to get close to the money I spent on it. So if I spent $100, I want to get around $100 for it if I've never used it, preferably. If I bought it, I used it for a couple of years, and let's say I bought it for $100, I'm okay selling it for $65, $70 because I got a lot of use out of it, right? So keep that in mind. <laughs> so the first bag that I purchased that I did not use and I got rid of um, is my Tory Burch Walker. And I will throw a picture of it up over here. Let's get this, there we go. So you'll see all the bags over here now in this big space. Um, I had it in the brown and orange and the size small. It was definitely too small for me. Um, it was too stiff, too structured. And though it was the cutest bag ever, I saw it on Sergio, Sergio's secret or Sergio's closet. I don't remember his username. I'll tag it below. Um, or put it on the screen here. Um, I saw him, he had one. I thought they were absolutely beautiful. I like the shape and I still do. I think the shape is absolutely beautiful, but for me, it's too small. It's a little bit too dainty, a little bit too, and I hate to say this cause hello, but it may be a little bit too feminine. I don't know. I know that sounds weird considering I literally carry purses, but it just wasn't me, but it was really beautiful. Um, I purchased it for about $3.95. I was able to get a discount on it. I had a coupon code for my first order. I think it was like 20 or 50, I think it was $50 off or something. Um, but it didn't apply to the locker and I didn't know that. So I called customer service cause it wouldn't take my coupon online. Um, 
So I think I got it for a little bit less than that, but roughly they retail for about $400. Now that bag, I did not sell. I probably could have sold and probably could have gotten close to my money back on it from what I've seen online with other resellers. However, my mom really did like the bag. She kind of took a liking to it and she doesn't buy herself luxury bags. So I thought Tory Burch is really nice, good quality. Um, she seemed to like it. So I gifted that to her to have so she would have something nice to take out. I know it was a little bit small. It was a little bit too small for me. I knew it'd be too small for her, but she could use it for a going out bag or a you know special occasion bag. And she has used it a couple of times. So that makes me happy. The next bag is my Coach Charles Varsity Stripe. I wrote it down as skinny bag. Um, I'll throw a picture of it here. Um, I had it obviously in the black with the blue strip on it. I owned it for over two years, didn't carry it once. I paid about $88 in the outlet and I ended up selling it for 35. So that one I did take quite a bit of a loss on, but it just wasn't selling, it wasn't moving. I don't think it's a very popular style. Um, a lot of things that I didn't like about it, I'm gonna guess other people don't either. A, it's way too thin. It is absolutely too thin. You can't fit anything in it without it bulging the bag out. Nothing fits. Um, it's very cute. It is an all leather bag, great quality, you know, especially for coach outlet, but it just wasn't the bag for me. Um, I do regret selling it as low as I did. I probably should have tried something different, but I needed to get it out of my closet. I had it for two years, so it was time for me to do what it took to get it gone. The next bag is a Michael Kors canvas messenger bag in navy blue. Um, I'll try to find a picture of it. I don't know the name. I bought it at the outlet in Las Vegas. I bought it roughly for about $75 and I sold it for $33. Um, it was just too small. I also stopped carrying messenger bags. A lot of these that you'll see are messenger bags and the reason I got rid of them is because I just don't carry messenger bags anymore. I now carry handbags. So, um, I bought it for $75. Um, I sold it for $33. Um, you know, that was, of course, a loss, but that bag I owned for about a year, and I did use that bag a lot. It was one of my main messenger bags that I carried, so, you know, he got a lot of use. You know, that was about, let's just say, $40 cut. I, yeah, I got $40 worth of use out of it, so now someone else can get more use out of it. I also take really good care of my bags, as I'm sure you've observed on my other handbags, so all of these were in really great shape. Um, I had a Coach Nylon Messenger bag, and it was, um, I had it for about a year. Um, I bought it for $75, and I sold it for $25. Now, this bag did have a minor stain on the very bottom of the base, so the base was about an inch thick, and in that inch thick base, I had must have set it down on something, and it just got a little bit of, like, an oil stain. It was about the size of a dime, um, and there was a couple of mitts on the bag, um, or p pilling, you know what I mean? Uh, just It was a fabric bag on the outside, so um, it wasn't in the best shape. So I was okay selling it for 25 So I spent $50 to use that bag for about a year. Again, I carried that bag a lot, so I got a lot of use out of it. I really enjoyed it. I wasn't going to get rid of it because I knew it wasn't going to be worth much, but I needed to clear out room. So I figured someone else could get some use out of it. I could clear up some room. I'm okay with that. Uh, the next one was my Coach Leather Charles Flight ba Bag in Navy Blue, and I love these bags, and I have sold both of the ones I had, which you'll see here shortly. Um, I absolutely love the leather version. This version was all leather. It was the embossed, um, kind of like the Empreinte uh, Louis Vuitton, but it was Coach Outlet um, leather, full leather bag, a beautiful like midnight blue color. I actually purchased it pre-owned on Fashion, or not Fashion File. <laughs> I purchased it pre-owned on Poshmark and I spent $100 on it and I sold it for $75. I did have the bag for a year and I probably again used it, I would say probably about 25% of the year. When I had messenger bags, I didn't swap as often because they were all very similar and they were all the same. So I didn't swap them too much. So I used that for about a year. So I spent $25 to rent the bag for a year, basically. Absolutely loved it, wouldn't have gotten rid of it, except I stopped carrying messenger bags. Uh, number six is the same bag, but it's in the coated canvas, the graphite gray and black coated canvas. 
Um, I had that bag for over three years. I bought it for just under $70 at the outlet on sale and I sold it for 50. It was the most used bag by far. Um, so that bag was a great deal, even though technically I lost a little bit of money on it. I spent about $20 to rent the bag for three years and that bag got a lot of use. And that bag had a little more wear. That's also why I sold it a little bit less than the leather version. A, because it was coated canvas versus leather and it did have a little bit more wear on it just because I did carry it a lot. Um, wouldn't have gotten rid of it, but I stopped carrying messengers. $50, you know, is nice and I wanted to clear in my closet. So I also had the Cream Daisy Rose Tote, which is the Daisy Rose dupe for the Neverfull. Um, I bought these for work. I have it in the black, the brown, and I had it in the tan color or the, the azure color. Um, purchased them for work because I don't want to spend a lot of money on a work bag. You know, it was getting tossed around, shoved in the car. You know, they, they get damaged. They get kind of scratched up and worn out. This one I didn't use. I used it maybe once or twice. It just wasn't my color. Um, I also started working from home, so I didn't need it. And, you know, it's not a bag I would carry as a daily handbag because I don't carry dupes or fakes as handbags. So I bought it for 50. I sold it for about 30. I didn't make any money on it. Didn't really use it that much, but I'm okay with it because it went to someone who really wanted it and I don't have to store it now. I also had a purple Olivia Enjoy purse. I purchased this at a thrift store for about $7. I originally bought it for myself as something fun. Then I thought I would gift it and neither of that happened. Um, I just decided it wasn't it was something I wanted to keep in my closet. So I ended up selling it for $15. Um, so that bag I did make a, a little bit of a change on, not much after Poshmark fees, but I made a couple bucks. On the same token, same day, I purchased this Jones New York Y2K um, bag. I purchased it for $9. I thought it was super cute. I was like, oh yeah, I'll use this. It's a real leather bag. I will say it was great quality um, for just being a Jones New York purse. Didn't reach for it, thought, nope, I'm gonna get rid of it. I ended up selling it for $13. So after fees on Poshmark, I actually didn't make anything on that one, but can't complain, you know? I could, it was nice. I didn't lose a ton. Um, maybe I spent a dollar or two to have it. Um, I also sold my Kate Spade large tote. I only owned it for about three months. I purchased it for $120 in the outlet uh, after the retail sites had discontinued the Margot. Um, it was super cute, but it just wasn't my style. And I don't know. I, I should have known. I also had my other Margot that I no longer have, which is next. Um, but it just wasn't my style. I never reached for it. So I thought, you know, let me list it. After Kate Spade discontinued the Margot, they were going for a lot more than they really probably should online. So I listed mine for 150 and thought, you know, if it sells great, if not, I'll keep it. And it sold. So I made a little bit there. Didn't lose any money on that one. Um, I think I carried it once. Also my media Margot, which was my tan one or my taupe one. Um, I had it for about six months. I never really used it. I bought it. I thought it was super cute. Um, I ended up gifting it to my mother-in-law for Christmas um, because when I bought it, I remember buying it on sale when they discontinued them and thinking, okay, you know, I can either use this myself or I can gift it. I did try to put my things in it. I didn't like how it fit, um, but she was talking about how she wanted to expand her purse collection, maybe different colors, different brands. Um, so, you know, I thought this would be a great gift for her. It's her style. It seems really nice. You know, it's it's good quality. Um, for being Kate Spade, the Margots are probably the only purse I really would buy anymore just because of the quality. I don't think some other stuff's that great. Um, so I went ahead and gave it, gifted it to her. I paid 160 you know, like I said, didn't really carry it, um, but it was a great gift. So I'm glad I was able to do that because I'd rather gift it than sell it, to be honest. My gray Coach Rowan um, full leather bag. Absolutely love this bag. I kind of regret selling it sometimes. I paid $140. I sold it for $120. Never used. New with tags. I spent $20 to lease it for a year. You know, not great, but not the end of the world. Um, I just needed to clear up space. And since I hadn't reached for her in you know, the year that I had it, I thought it's time to go clear up room for something that I will get more use out of but I do miss her sometimes especially this time of year when I carry this Rowan and I realize how much I actually like the Rowan. 
Uh, next is a brand that I actually don't have anything of uh, because every time I buy it, I either, well, no, I have one bag. I lied. I have one bag from this brand, but everything else I haven't been in love with. So my Tory Burch Emerson, um, I had it in the size medium. I have it right now in the taupe color with the gray, which I, I uh, silver hardware, which I love. Um, I also had it in this beautiful emerald green color. Um, I owned it for a little under a year, about 10 to 12 or 10 to 11 months. I paid $118 on clearance at the outlet and never used it. Still had the tags on it. Just wasn't a color that I ever wanted to reach for. I thought I would. I was really excited for it. I thought it'd be a great winter bag. It's not. I have a lot of bags that are good for winter. So this one just wasn't one I reached for. Plus my coach Lori, which is also green, is a bag that I reach for more. So I thought I need to get rid of this one. I haven't used it. This one I actually did sell for more than I paid for it. I sold it for $165, and I thought that was fair. I see people selling them, and I, I mean, not just listing them, but selling them for $200, $300, and I think I listed mine at $200, and it sold for $165, so couldn't complain there. I went to someone who loves her. I'm glad. I do miss it, though. It was really beautiful. This one is my Coach Lily, um, which is... A, to me, it's a cross between the Prada Galleria meets the Kate Spade Margot. Throw a picture of up here. I had it in a dark blue. I paid $150 for it. I had it for about a year. I used it maybe two or three times. I don't remember. I sold it for $120. So again, I paid about $30 to use the bag for a couple a year. Can't complain. Um, super cute. Did love it. Just didn't reach for it as much. I had other bags that were very similar that were designer. So I have a couple of Prada bags that were comparable. Um, my Louis Vuitton Margot is also, not Margot, uh, Montaigne is a comparable to this bag. And I just reached for that more. I paid more for it, it makes sense. Next is another messenger bag. It's the Coach East West camera bag. I paid 95 for her. I had it for about two to three years. I absolutely loved it. Just don't use messengers anymore. I loved the shape of this one. This one was in great condition. Um, I did get a little bit of use out of it, not a ton. It wasn't my most used, but I used it a lot. And I paid 95 at the outlet and I sold it for 120. It's a discontinued style. It was really popular. Um, you know, I did research on it before I listed. Um, it just made sense. So I did, you know, not lose money on that one. So that was nice. Uh, next is the Coach Dylan bag. I purchased this in the reserve section at a outlet location. Um, I paid about $190, $195 for it. I used the living heck out of this bag. It was also a reserve bag, so it's kind of an as-is item. And it did have a few nicks and scratches on it when I bought it. I knew that I was saving, you know, $300 buying it pre or buying it at the outlet. Um, I sold it for $70, so that was a big loss, but it wasn't in the best of shape and I wasn't going to reach for it. So get it out. The next one was one I didn't think I would ever sell, and that was my Coach Elise bag. I uh, bought this at the boutique. I used it, again, maybe one or two times. Paid $177 on clearance because they just continued the colorway. I sold it for $175, so again, a couple bucks lost. I got to use the bag. I owned it for about a year. Um, I did use it, like I said, one or two times. Absolutely loved it. But I had a lot of bags that were similar that I used more often. Decided I just needed to clear it out. So, And the last bag is my Coach Swinger. Um, I owned it for a year. I paid $95 on clearance at Dillard's. This colorway got discontinued. Um, and I ended up selling it for $150. So that one I did make about $50 on. Um... It took a long time to sell though. I started it much higher um, and I just kind of kept knocking it down and 150 was my basement. I'll keep it on display for that. I'm not gonna sell it for less, um, but I just didn't use it. Still had the tags on it, brand new. Um, just decided it was time to get rid of it. And then the last item I actually just sold this weekend, it's been listed on my Poshmark, is my, I have two wallets for sale. One is my Kate Spade outlet wallet that went with my Largos. Since I sold the Margos, I don't need the wallets. So I have that listed. Um, I'm trying to get ideally about $50 for it. I think I paid about $70. Um, so hoping for that. Another one is one of my Coach wallets. Just the standard 
black and gray CC wallet, gunmetal hardware. Um, I think I paid about $65, $70 for it at the outlet when I started carrying bags a long time ago. Most used wallet, used the heck out of this thing. Still obviously in great shape. And I was able to sell it for about $25 at a garage sale. So of course there were no posh fees or anything. Um, so I did get rid of that one. And it's just because I didn't reach for it. I have my, it's the same as that color combination, but it's the plaid, the gray and black plaid. And I just like that a little bit more um, with some of my other bags that matches a little bit better. And I realized I have about 10 wallets and I don't need that many. So I had to get rid of one, well, a couple. I have one listed right now and then that one is officially sold. Um, but there you have it. Those are the items that I have purchased and sold. A little explanation as to why, if I could remember the dollar amounts and all of that fun stuff. Um, maybe this will help you make some decisions on your closet. You know, maybe you have that bag that you're just like, mm, I don't use it, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, you know, maybe we're in the same boat and now you can go ahead and get rid of it, clear it out, let someone else get some love out of it, that kind of stuff. And so thank you so much for watching. Um, I will see you on the next video and um, stay safe, be good, make good choices, and we'll see you next time. Bye.